Welcome to another video and in today's video we, we, we're going to talk about uh, how to configure Cisco trunk ports. This is my network topology and as you can see here I do have VLAN 20 and I do have VLAN 10 and both of them are in a subnet of slash 24 or 255 255 255 24. Gateway of the VLAN 10 is 1066.10.1 and the gateway of VLAN 20 is 1066.20.1. This is the fiber connection between two switches, and I do have, actually this is four. I do have uh, one side connected in a 1.4 because uh, the other ports are busy, and I had to use the unused port. And in the other one, I do have an available port on uh, Gigabyte uh, 1. So this is a single mode fiber, and then this is going through the SFP ports. And the laptop number one, let's say, is 1066.20.100. And laptop number two is 1066.10.100. In order for this laptop to reach this laptop here, it is another way of connecting both of them straight together. If you put, a, a let's say, a crossover cable, they can communicate together. But in my case here, I am going to use the trunk port, and that's the whole purpose of this video, to show you how to configure trunk ports. So from this laptop here, it's plugged in in one of the ports, available ports on the switch, and through the trunk port here, via single mode fiber, it's going to communicate to this laptop right here, which is in a completely different VLAN. So VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, they are completely different subnet. One is 20.100 and the other one is 10.100. Both of them are subnet of slash 24. Without wasting any time, let's go back to the uh, switches and let's configure the trunk ports. And remember, this is for the Cisco switches. So basically you can do in any switch but the commands that i'm using here it might vary in a different type of switches such as like using juniper or using aruba switches uh, the, the the commands is not going to be the same but it's the same philosophy though let's go back to the switches and see how we can configure uh, the trunk ports so vlan 20 can reach vlan 10 and vice versa so as you can see here i'm using mobile xterm again and I'm gonna I'm gonna reload the the session and I'm gonna log into the switch one and also we are going to log in to switch number two. Okay. So we're gonna use show VLAN brief. I already created the VLANs for you, and as you can see, one of the laptop and this is the vlan 20 is plugged in in the gigabyte number five and in the other switch which is switch number one in this case we're going to use show vlan brief again i created the two vlans and i'm using the port number 48 you can use any port any available port that you have in the switch so it doesn't mean to be 48 doesn't mean to be five any available port it's completely fine so in order for this switch uh, to re uh, this uh, laptop to reach there, we need to configure a trunk port. So to do so, what we're going to do is we're going to hit first show IP interface brief. And as you can see, my fiber is already connected and the status is up. So to verify that I can't reach the um, 20.100, I am going to open uh a shell just to verify that i cannot reach the vlan and minus t is a continuous ping so in this case right now i can't reach vlan 20 from vlan 10. so what also i'm going to use the 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 command prompt from the workstation just to verify that we can't reach VLAN uh, 20, which is the IP 1066.20.100. So let's go back to the switch and configure the trunk port. 
config T to go to the configure uh, terminal mode. And here we're going to use the uh, this in my case is a 10 gigabyte. It doesn't matter because it can be a gigabyte. It can be a fast Ethernet port with a 100 speed with a thousand uh, uh, megabit speed and a 10 gigabyte uh, uh, speed. It doesn't matter because you can always adjust the speed and, and the duplex on the port to match the opposite port where you're trying to do the trunk. So here we're going to reach interface 10 gigabyte 1.1. And the command is super simple. We do switch, switch port, switch port mode trunk, and we do a no uh, one more command switch port trunk allow VLAN. In this case, I'm gonna allow 1, 10, and 20. When I hit enter, these are the only three VLAN that are allowed to pass traffic through that port in the trunk mode. So if you have a VLAN 30, if I would have a, a VLAN 30 or 40, that won't be able to pass traffic through that trunk port. If you do, if you specify the VLAN on the switch port trunk mode, then only those VLANs that you program, it will uh, uh, pass the traffic to that port. So if you want to do, uh, to pass the traffic to every single VLAN connected in the switch, then all you have to do is switch port trunk allow VLAN all, but that is not something that I would suggest because of the security purpose. And the last command is no shut. So switch number one is already configured. Let's go back to the switch number two. And then the switch number two, as you can see here, I have, I have some uh, uh, gigabytes up. I have four and I have five. So in, the, in, in the number five, I have a laptop number two, which is a VLAN 20. And then one four, I am going to use uh, as a trunk port to match, to match the uh, gigabyte here so they can trunk and pass the traffic in between the VLANs. So let's go back to the second switch and we hit configuration terminal and we go to that gigabyte, one four, same thing, switch port, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk, allow VLAN, one, 10, 20, no shut, end. Basically, with this command that I did here, uh, uh, we should be able, uh, we should be able to, uh, to uh, pass the traffic from the, as you can see here, it just came, as you can see here. So before I wasn't able to uh, ping, but now I'm going to open the command prompt as well. Now, as you can see, I can ping VLAN 20 from VLAN 10. So basically, in a command prompt, I'm going to hit IP config, and you're going to see that the IP that I'm using here is VLAN 10, 10.66.10.100, and I am pinging, I am pinging. 1066.20.100 and as you can see I successfully have uh, uh, a connection between two VLANs so basically all the routing is it's being done through throughout the switch but in order for you to configure trunk ports and to reach it that's the command to use it so let's go back to the switch I'm going to show you that uh, that the VLAN are in a trunking mode and it's going to show you which VLAN are. So to do so, we use a command show interface trunk. And as you can see here, this is the interface that I configured as a trunk mode. That's the encapsulation mode, which is 8021Q. The status is telling you that it's in a trunking mode and the native VLAN, it's one. So the native VLAN, uh, uh, for this, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say only one word. So uh, for those that are not familiar with, uh, with the native VLAN, I suggest reading uh, a section in, in, in Google or YouTube uh, where it explains the, the tagged and untagged VLAN. Basically, tagged VLAN is what I did. Tagged VLAN are always a trunk uh, port versus untagged where our access port so if i will put this gigabyte right here 
if I will do interface 10 gigabyte 111 like switch port mode access then this is untagged VLAN and when you see native VLAN 1 is because I just left it like that I can do native VLAN 10 native VLAN 20 it all depends where I wanted the native VLAN to be so to do to do that I'm just gonna show you this is uh, uh, for the uh, 10 gigabyte 1 1 10 gigabyte 1 1 switchboard trunk native VLAN and in this case is one we can make it 10 and we can make it 20 that's the command to do the native VLAN but remember always remember trunk port is always tagged they call it a tag port tagged because it allows multiple VLAN traffic versus when you have untagged port that belongs to the access mode port switch port mode access those are the ports that allow uh, to pass the traffic only on the specific VLAN so there is no other other VLAN that can go on the the untagged besides the one that you configured versus the trunk port where you can pass multiple uh, 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 VLAN in in this case I'm passing 1 10 and 20 and and that's about it so same thing here on the second switch we're gonna do show interface trunk and as you can see here the same thing is trunking native VLAN 1 and this is what is allowed on on that port and in my case because I can figure it that way it's 1 10 20 and also it tells you that uh, uh, which one is active so actually all three of them are active and the last one it shows you uh, the the forward state for spanning three uh, uh, that tells you uh, which one is in a forward state actually passing traffic uh, in between and of course it's going to be one uh, 10 and 20 because that's the way I can figure and the next thing that I can show you so as you can see here so basically this is uh, 20 20 100 so let's go back to the switch we hit show ARP and as you can see here it's stand out 100 here ping from the switch we're going to try to ping both laptops 10 66 20 100 and as you can see I do have a successful connection there I can reach it and also 100 of course because because it resides on this switch let's go back to the other switch same thing here we're gonna we're gonna try to ping both laptops 10.100 and ping 10 66 20 100 so this tells you that the router is working properly this tells you that the trunk ports that we configured is working properly that's the way uh, uh, to verify that the trunk uh, trunking is working another way of verifying the switch port the way that we configure is this by using this command show run interface uh, 10 gigabyte one one and this tells you the way you configured that port so in our case I configured the port as a trunk I told the trunk to be in a trunk mode I told the trunk to allow VLAN 1 10 and 20 and that's it and of course I did it a no shot which stands for the no shutdown I just don't want the port to be in a, in a shutdown mode for any reason of course it's not gonna be showing on the CLI because that's the way it's designed also in the other switch we're gonna hit show run interface gigabyte one four and you're going to see here that the switch is configured for a uh, 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 trunk mode and also it allows the VLAN 1 10 and 20